Okay, so we're talking about gastroesophageal cancer and a study that ASCO has chosen to highlight. Why are you interested in this study? I love this study. A perennial problem in cancer clinical trials is that the people we include in our trials are the fit, healthy, triathlete cancer patients. And we leave out the large percentage of patients who, by the age of 75, are a little bit frail and have accumulated a few medical problems. And that leaves it impossible for us to figure out whether treatments that work in healthy 60-year-olds are going to also work in 75-year-olds with a few medical problems. The other chronic problem in oncology is that we love to do more of studies. We love to add additional ingredients to our chemotherapy regimens. What these investigators from the University of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom did is they asked a less of question. Hmm. They compared three different chemotherapy regimens for treating gastroesophageal cancer. Sort of in a three bears model of baby bear, mama bear, papa bear, the high dose regimen, the medium dose regimen, and the low dose regimen. But in this case, the high dose regimen is standard of care. What they showed is that in this three arm randomized study of nearly 600 patients, that outcomes for patients treated with the low dose regimen were very comparable. Not only did they look at overall survival, disease-free survival, they looked at tolerability and a novel metric that they call overall treatment utility, which really incorporates patients' own experiences being on the treatment, as well as side effects and how long they lived. And it really showed in a non-inferiority design that the lower dose was non-inferior to the standard dose.